All right, so we're off on an adventure today. We're gonna go into the middle of a local desert to find this ancient castle, Oster. We're gonna try to find it, and hopefully we don't get too lost in the middle of the desert. So let's see how we do. All right, we're about to step foot into the preliminary area of the desert as we go down this path. And then we're gonna head off that way a little bit, see what we find. I think if we go this way, and fall that way there's a fence and fences usually means stay out or to keep something in but let's head down this path and i got a feeling the castle is this way let's see if we could find it all right we're about to cut through the fence there there's a hole in the fence and fences with barbed wire usually means stay out or to keep something in but i know the castle is that way somewhere in the desert so we're gonna head that way and let's see if we could find it come on All right, we're about to cross the fence into the unknown desert. We've never been here before, and I'm in the desert. So let's see what we can find. There's an observation tower over there. I don't think that's a hunting tower. Appreciate sure it's observation. And then let's just head off. There's a wall there, and I think the castle is somewhere that way. So let's see what happens. Let's see what we find. All right, well, I thought that was the castle. That apparently is part of the wall that I know on the map. I believe that is the castle because I can see the theater and I know people said that you can see the theater. So we did our job. We're coming out of the desert and I'm gonna find this castle. Very cool. All right, well, apparently there's a fence that went up right there to keep people out. That one we are not crossing because I know that's new within two weeks, but there's the castle and I don't know if we can get to it. We're gonna try the back door to C Day and see if we could turn right, but I got a feeling that is closed off. We got through the fence on the road and we have access to this from this side. So I'm going to go off into the castle area, the desert again, we're gonna do a little more exploring and probably walk to that wall and we'll just come out around where that guy is over there. He must be lost too. And well, we're not really that lost. There's the theater and the crane where the museum's at and there's the old city of Sea Day. So how many stories would that have been back in the day? Maybe three, four stories, probably very small rooms. Got a feeling it went a bit higher. Very amazing. And then we're going to head back up that way to the castle and keep going down the path into the past. All right, I would not do this in the summer, but I'm going to try this now because there could be snakes here, but I think it should be okay now. So oh, this is, uh, it just looks like a dump ground in an old olive field. There's not much here. It looked like more, but it's just an open field. So here's an interesting part of the castle. It's the only, what looks like carving that I saw. It looks a lot different from farther away, but this is definitely some kind of etch work here. Definitely you can see some tool markings. Pretty interesting. Let's see what we got up here. 
This is the back of the castle, I think. Oh yeah, the back of the castle. Definitely. But it's just empty. All right, this is a well-walked way. Do we go right or left? Let's go left. It looks steeper and harder. And the sand is definitely <laughs> trickier to walk in. It's pretty soft sand, actually. I feel like I'm sinking with every step. I feel like I'm losing a few inches climbing up. Maybe more than a few inches per step. <laughs> it's really powder fine sand. Need some rocks to walk on. Oh, look at this. We found the castle. Wow, out of the middle of the desert. Here it is. Woo! That's actually big. Wow. Check it out. That's what we came for. Pretty cool. That is not an aqueduct. Those are archways. I gotta imagine those are big rooms. Pretty amazing. And then they got just rocks strewn around. This area has not been worked on almost at all. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so I'm inside the castle now. We came from that way. This here looks like it goes underneath me, which I am not going to go down there and fight through all that stuff. But it's, it's a lower level for sure. And I'm not going underneath that archway. As you can see, it did cave in here. And I'm not going to go there. Don't feel safe. But it goes out that way. It goes that way, as you can see. There's some blocks here, which I got a feeling fell from the wall, but this had to be a pretty big great room right here is what my imagination is telling me. This is just pretty cool. Very, very cool. And this is uh, part of the wall that obviously caved in. Well, if it's not obvious, it caved in because it was a lot higher. And it would be really fun to go up there, but you're taking your life into your hands if you climb up those rocks. To give you a hint where we're at, by the old, old, old Ostro Castle in Side, Antalya. Because it's a hill, gotta go up the hill. Can't resist going up hills, especially to look at old rocks.
been looking through holes in the rocks. Well, that's about it for today. We got to find our way past that fence and back across through the desert and work our way back home. I hope you enjoyed what we showed you. Remember, this is in Sea Day, Antalya, Turkey, and this is December. And the bird says, thank you for visiting. <laughs> Come back, see us again soon. Take care.